time for tips from the pros of Wes Newton. Wes, practice is a big issue that a lot of people want to know. How to improve their practice game, what would you say to them? Yes, Paul, practice, practice, practice. Um, you know, it's whether you practice with a, an opponent or you practice with yourself, it's uh, important to do certain routines where um, you, you do get a score at the end of it so you can monitor how you're doing and obviously beat yourself all the time. Obviously, you can judge how you're doing and like I said, try and, try and beat your score every time. Do you think it's important to be competitive in, in practice because if you lose that edge if, when you go into a match? Definitely, yeah. Um, you always have got to push yourself. And like I said, you can, you're can obviously trying to better yourself all the time. So, yeah, definitely push yourself. What, what would you say is the, the best way to practice for yourself rather than anyone at home? How do you find it best to practice? I, I, I prefer to practice on my own. Um, I have my darts room at home and I have a few routines I do. Um, some of them routines a lot on doubles, really. I, uh, I'll go around the board on doubles and... I've got with two doubles per throw to move on to the next one. Two double ones per throw to move on to the next. And uh, if you're playing that game with an opponent, you get three in, you get a free goal. Obviously, when I practice on my own, I just do the two and I move on to the next one. So you think doubles is it? Because I know some players, they say that they just practice and they don't try and tend to focus too much on doubles. But for you and for someone watching at home, do you think it's key to practice as many doubles as you can? Yeah, definitely. It's uh, doubles wins games. Um, for me, it did cost me a lot early on in my career, doubles. So that's why I tend to practice quite a lot on my doubles. Do you think players, at some just an amateur at home, when they're practicing, is it is it good to look for you to, to score? Basically, do you think it's best to try and get as many high scores as you can? Do you think it's better to first learn the board and then move on to things like that? Yeah, I also mix it up. Um, a lot, a lot of the time in my early early days, I played a lot of five or one against myself. I'd give myself a certain amount of darts to win a leg. 18 or 15, however you judge your level, and, and try and improve. And you know, I play. I'd play against myself really. Just legs of five or one. If I didn't win the leg in 18 darts, I'd lose a leg. And I'd play like um, a, a set rule like we do in, in the World Championships. I'd play best of five per set and first to three sets. And you know, I'd do that a few times and then uh, focus a bit on finishing. So that's practice aside. When it actually comes to playing a match, whether it be at the World Championships or just someone watching at home that plays down the pub. What do you think, a, a, bit of, a bit of advice you could give them for when they're playing matches rather than just practising? Um, in the matches, like I said, yeah, you've got to, uh, it's, it's a lot of focus and, uh, and keeping your concentration because, you know, things don't always go your way as your opponent. You can't stop your opponent and darts scoring. Snooker, you can play defensive, safety, but darts, it's just all out attack. So, you know, sometimes things aren't going to go your way and, you know, you've just got to keep focus and... It's just a leg at the end of the day, you know, there's, there's so many legs make up a match and, you know, no matter what your opponent does, you've got to keep your focus and, uh, you know, take your chances when they come, which they will come. Right, you're giving the people at home a, a few bits of advice. But if I gave you one thing you had to say, you look down the camera and say to them, this is what you should be doing, what would you go for? Practice, practice as much as you can. Practice, practice as much as you can. There you go. Jamie Banks, Wes New and Tungsten Tails and Unicorn Darts, keeping you at the sharp end of world darts. Ha, ha, ha.